what's up everybody this is your nutritionist on the go Kamal Deep Singh Ajla from Edu Diet Nutrition and we are back with a short topic that is pulses and lentils for diabetic people this is going to be a very short video because most of the pulses and lentils are generally made up of complex carbohydrates now there is one very interesting thing when you check the composition of pulses see grains and pulses give you equal amounts of carbohydrates and equal amounts of calories okay so that is approximately same if you take 30 grams of grains and 30 grams of pulses whole pulses or lentils they are going to give you approximately same amount of uh, of carbohydrates and same amount of energy but where the difference is Pulses are actually made up of more complex carbohydrates. Sometimes they are uh, not even disaccharides, they are polysaccharides or oligosaccharides, okay? I'm not trying to confuse you guys into technical terms, but in simple terms, more complex carbohydrates than grains, which means anything with complex carbohydrates is generally safe for our blood glucose levels. It is safe for diabetic people. You guys can enjoy your dal, okay? now. One thing that we need to take care of is the phytic acid content in the dal. Now, why is there a phytic acid content in the dal? To protect the grain, to increase the shelf life of the grain. We notice that uh, we buy a packet of dal or we buy loose dal and we can store it in the container for as long as we can maintain it in a good moisture-free environment. So, what protects the grain is the phytic acid in them. But that phytic acid actually causes digestive problems for everybody, not only for diabetic pe people, for everybody. So how to lower that phytic acid content? We need to soak our whole pulses. Okay, so we soak our whole pulses for about 8 to 10 hours. That's overnight or whole day. 8 to 10 hours of soaking. We can change the water if we can or we'll uh, soak them in one batch but before cooking we need to change that water we need to discard the water that was used for soaking and use fresh water when we are going to cook these dals so the dals will become more palatable more digestibility and they will be easy on your stomach more amount of vitamin b and vitamin c content the decrease in phytic acid that means more absorption of the same amount of dal now if you are eating dal and you are not soaking it you are missing out on majority of the nutrients plus you are causing irritation to your digestive system so always remember soak your dals 8 to 10 hours and even if you're going to cook lentils i suggest you leach out the lentils okay soak them for three to four hours change the water and then cook them in fresh water so that is generally safe for the diabetic people try to choose more pulses and lentils for proteins and energy as compared to grains okay so if you eat three chapati you are going to get roughly six grams of protein if you eat one bowl of dal you are going to get seven grams of protein okay so that is about three and a half times more than one roti one chapati okay so now coming on to one mistake that majority of the people do so many dietitians and so many nutritionists and self-proclaimed nutrition gurus they are going to suggest you go for soya all right soya bean in form of pulses soya bean in form of chunks soya bean in any form trust me you do not want to consume soy now you might throw many uh, researches at my face they have high protein and they have this and they have this soy is actually the result of the pig farming industry and the cattle farming industry in america that's when soy gained its popularity way back a couple of decades in america they found that animals who were uh, bred uh, who, were, who were bred and who were raised for meat actually grew a lot more fatter and bigger when they were on a soy based diet so that's where soy actually picked up its pace and now there is a, so a lot of soy that is being manufactured in india as well as in uh, other countries also but 
soy products are not good for you i will leave that in for another video we're gonna dissect and bury soy one day uh, in the in the in the next coming videos whenever i get time but for now avoid all the soy products you can go on pulses and lentils and uh, enjoy your meals more protein more fiber more as energy and uh, complex carbohydrates so that they not harm your blood glucose levels so, so enjoy your pulses and lentils and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks